All right, hello everyone. It's Mr. Punkos from Every More Bound over here, with uh, with the long-awaited Sniper's Only Playlist game. Uh, like I listen, it has been no secret that we here at High do not have a lot of respect for uh, for for snipers. No, but jokes aside, um, listen, snipers feel like, at least in my opinion, snipers felt like they haven't been hard to use in about give or take ten to twenty years for for Call of Duty. Which, uh, you know, people like that, so, like, I'm nothing against it besides the fact that it makes fucking small players really annoying. Uh, and, you know, the one-shot capabilities and fucking ruins rank play in certain situations. Uh, what am I talking about? Gotta stop talking. The one the one time I think I think snipers are unequivocally the best part of Call of Duty are in the snipers-only playlist. Because that's where snipers really just get to fucking stretch your legs, be fun. You're not ruining any other situation. You're not ruining any other game modes. It's just a nice time. And I've done a video, basically... For every single one-shot playlist, I believe. Uh, I did one for Black Ops 3. Did one for Black Ops 4. Not Black Ops 4. Actually, that's a lie, too. I also didn't do one for AW. So, uh, you know, kind of shit in the bed. I'm kind of lying to myself there. But, uh, no, I've done, I've done it for a lot of them. Uh, and I thought, you know, why would I not do it for Modern 3? Especially now that I'm playing Modern 3 more. And also, I'm using a completely naked XRK. Uh, for the main reason of that I want to... Um, that I need to uh, level it up. And I'm getting shit on there we go. I know it's cheese. I'm sorry, buddy. Like, the thing about snipers is that they'll always be cheesy, I think, at God, just for the sheer fact that it's a one-shot in a game that already has a relatively low... Oh, God. Already has a low time to kill. I don't know. I, I'm very conflicted about snipers, actually. Snipers are, like... I don't even know how to describe it. Snipers are, like, the... They're, they're like the vegetables of a, of a nice hearty meal. Like maybe maybe you're not a fan of vegetables, or maybe you are. I don't know. So this you know analogy doesn't work. But uh, if you if you if you don't like vegetables, they're like the vegetables of a meal. Where like I understand why they have to be in a game with guns. It just makes sense. But um, does it man does it not make it any less frustrating when they are in the game? Oh, I could have got that fucking idiot. And I think I gained a lot more respect for them when I was going for Interstellar. Not gonna lie. Because uh, Interstellar made me. It was, uh, especially for those penetration kills, holy fuck, were those annoying. Uh, take it for the cat. Because I still think, like, listen, if, if they some, if they ban snipers outright, and they only let, allow them in one-shot playlists like these, uh, I think I would significantly enjoy sniping in pretty much every cat. Because then you're just, you know, you're limiting the, the source of a lot of, you know, rage. And obviously they would never do this, and obviously they can't do this. Like, it just would go against what Call of Duty is as a game. Call of Duty is a game that you're supposed to, like, you know, play play your way. Uh, you know, insert Sentinel joke here, but you know what I mean. Like, how'd I miss that? Yeah, I don't know. It, listen, I like like everyone who's been playing God for longer than, like, five years, I'm very conflicted on him. And I think I made that pretty obvious. No, don't hit. Okay. Thank you for killing me. I don't like meleeing in, in fucking, uh, in, in these sniper modes but for the sheer fact that I remember the Dark Ages of fucking uh, Advanced Warfare's one-shot playlist where everyone was running around with knives. Uh, and it legitimately ruin the mode for me. Hey, bud. Oh, let's go. I, I do... I'm not gonna lie, though. I don't like the fact that you can call in streaks. That's a little unfortunate. And it's always been a problem with Stiver Playlist, in my opinion, that you can call in streaks. I uh, never forget... Again, I don't know why I'm bringing AW, AW up so much, but I uh, never forget the... Uh, never forget the gosh darn system hack that you could just pull out for, like, eight kills. Also, obviously, like always... We're gonna be doing two games, maybe three, depending on how fast the uh, the other games go. This one's a slog, but that's only because it's TDM. And no matter what game you're playing, TDM will always be slow. Oh, that was almost a collat, actually. Thank you. Also, next game I'm gonna be using the uh, the longbow, because I believe out of all the modern three weapons, out of all the modern three snipers, excuse me, the uh, the longbow is probably my favorite. Nice shot! Holy fuck! The cat was fun because of the one-shot capability from, from any fucking angle, but um, but the longbow made me actually feel like a sniper, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, like a Call of Duty sniper, because obviously, like, real snipers, I feel like the longbow is way more of a real sniper sniper than, than the Call of Duty sniper. Because of the fact that one-shots and you have to play a lot slower. Can you kill him? Thank you, teammate. I do also think, like, these tiny scopes that don't zoom in all the way should absolutely be banned from uh, being used in, first of all, being used on snipers, but second of all, being used in any sniper playlist, because look how fucking easy this is, dude. I have my full range of view. I can zoom in extremely quickly. Okay. I right, oops. Teammates, suppress. Give, give me some impressive fire. 
one thing I do want to do eventually, hopefully, uh, not before they get rid of this uh, mode, but I do kind of want to do a gun game uh, in, in the snipers only play this, just because I feel like I'd see a lot of really unique sniper uh, setups. Because, like, one thing I gotta give snipers credit for is they have about a billion. Oh, reload? Okay. They have about a billion different builds for fucking everything. Like, massive props to them. There's like 40 different builds you can find. Like, I, I mean, I went through like six different snipers in the span of like these past 10 minutes trying to pick, fucking pick up shit. So, like, you know, props to them for that at least. 14 and 18. Pretty dog shit, but you know what to expect. I'm not a sniper. Okay. Now, we're going to switch to. Where is it? I lost it. There you go. The longbow. Here's the build. I stole it from Sprat. So, uh, except for I replaced the laser with a rear grip because I'm going to not be quick scoping as much. I'm going to try to be aiming at sights. So, yeah, here, here's the uh, here's the build. All right, we're back. Game two on this map, on Greece. I feel like I've seen this map about a billion more times than I actually want to. No offense to the map. It's honestly not that bad. But, uh, man, does it get played very fucking often for some reason. Like, I honestly don't know why. Like, don't get me wrong. It, it is a fun map. Or not a fun... You know, it's all right. Sorry. I didn't mean to let you get... I didn't mean to let him collateral us. It just feels like it's one of the only maps that gets played in, like, the 10v10 playlist and shit like that. So, uh, I'm kind of sick of seeing it, to be honest. Uh, also, it's big as fuck. Uh, and as a sub player who's bad at traversing the map. Uh, I hate that shit. Oh, hey. Okay. Sorry, I... <laughs> it, you probably, like... It's, it's, it's probably, like, you know, relatively cringy how, how much I still react to my snipes. Uh, but it's only because I don't snipe that often. So, like, g getting any snipe at all that's even kind of, uh, you know, nice-looking is, uh, is a miracle for me. I just hope they keep this place around for a while. Because I won't lie to you. Uh, this might be a warm-up playlist for me whenever I play rank from now on. Because warming up in a sniper playlist is just so much more fun than getting your shit pushed in in a fucking public match. And especially if they don't have, like, Sash House 24-7 uh, running at the time, uh, I think this would be a really good replacement. You're not going to pick that. No, what the fuck, Bungie? Bungie! Oh my god. My mantle's broken. It's funny, too, because the auto mantle is so fucking dog shit. How'd I miss that twice? Uh, the auto mantle is so fucking dog shit that it, like... God damn it. Uh, that, like, it mantles me on every random thing, but when I try to actually mantle on something, it fucking stop, uh, stops me. Fuck out of here, kid. That's that's what I was talking about, like, what I hate before. Uh, people who don't fucking snipe in the sniping playlist. Uh, yeah, stop it. Oh my god. Fuck you, Rick Grimes. Your show was garbage after season four, don't at me. That's a lie. I, I'm pretty sure I don't honestly remember what happened. Uh, season four... I think season four is post governor, right? Governor was the last season I watched. Uh, not due to like not liking the show anymore, uh, mainly due to the fact that I didn't have cable anymore and I had nowhere else to watch it. And I believe that was before they put it on Netflix. But everyone knows Herschel season was the best season. Just throwing all the hot takes out. All fucking fuck hot takes. Sorry, throwing all the extremely lukewarm takes out. That, that should honestly like, I, I think I'm the, the fucking king. Ninety-five percent of the time, if it's not cod related, I think I'm the king of lukewarm take lukewarm takes. Wow, really? Okay, whatever. I'm a very boring person. No bullshit. If I watch a movie and it's bad, I won't really know if the movie's bad until after I, like... What are you doing, buddy? I can't believe I'm getting fucking joked by this kid. Whatever. How did they not kill? Oh my god, this kid's such a fucking pussy. I, like, what's the point? Alright, whatever. That just tilted me, I'm not gonna lie. If I was even a quarter better of a sniper, hot dog. I realize that maybe, like, I, I think I have, like, COD ADD. Like, I, I need fucking big maps. Or I need, sorry, I need small maps and, like, fast paced action, or else, like, my brain gets bored. And, uh, get fucking shit on. Uh, and that obviously is, like, my fault for. Like, I've basically been living in the small map playlist for whatever game comes out every single time. It's either rank play or small maps. Uh, and, like, I think that genuinely is a problem I have, and I need to, I need to solve it. I'm not gonna fucking chase after that fucking prick. No. You ever just get way too fucking occupied with chasing someone? I deserve that. I was trying to assassinate him. Oh. You ever just miss a non-moving target? Because I do. Constantly. Oh my god, Rick Grimes, get the fuck out of here, kid. There, there's obviously a thing where, like, like people talk about, like, well, like, I remember seeing this originally in, uh, like, Fortnite, when Fortnite was popping off. 
but like they're they're like you know sweat skins and like skins that people like associate with bad players and shit like that and like i wonder if that sort of psychology is going to be used for anything in the future like i would love to see an entire game mode built around you know being set in certain kind of like Griffball actually where, where your skin changes when you play the game no matter what uh and seeing it that like changes how people associate with the skin if you could buy it like a month later it's like like a skin where you have to like run around and then the skin where you have to like chasing people running around like a hunted skin and then like a prey skin and then you have to like i don't know when, when it comes out into the actual game uh do the prey people actually play differently with that skin on and like do people react to them differently in lobbies and shit i don't know i think fucking gaming psychology is a very interesting thing no oh my god i got stuck on the wall that's baloney that was the easiest two piece of my life, and I fucking choked it. Like I, I wouldn't play Halo SWAT and see. Oh, I'd, I'd play Halo SWAT and see a guy, but I wouldn't only associate with that that skin with um. Oh, that was almost clat. I wouldn't only associate that skin with um. With uh, you know, sweat, sweat lords. I didn't deserve that kill. Like at the same time, I guess I would, cause like. Recon in Halo in Halo Three. The recon armor, I only associated with a stupid fucking YouTube video from, like, 2010. So, like, I guess I kind of was already using that sort of psychology for skins way back, like, then. But, like, there was no way to choose skins in, like, COD or shit, you know? Like, the only game you could really choose skins in was fucking Halo. I fucking suck. You know, I just realized what this guy's probably doing. He's probably trying to practice his movement. And, obviously, the best place to practice movement is on a, a mode where people can't usually hit their shots. You know? So, I guess it makes sense. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to give the kid the benefit of the doubt, uh, and not to mention, he would be, you know, dead a billion times over. Oh god, <laughs> whatever. I'll take that. I guess I can get a cruise missile in this game. This is what this is what I'm talking about, though. I hate fucking streaks. Streaks should not be allowed in this mode. Besides, like UAVs, and even then, honestly, I'm not really sure if they should be allowed. It's just weird, you know. Like the whole point is sniping, so like obviously you want to like snipe. Cruises. I don't know what happened between like. You know, pre Warzone COD and post Warzone COD, but streaks have become so hard to control. And I don't really know why. Like, I've earned the streak already. Why, why make it difficult to control as well? Maybe it just suck. Obviously, that's an answer to everything. The, the million dollar question is maybe I just suck. And the million dollar answer is yes. But, like, I don't understand it, man. I'm a. This one's coming to an end uh, very slowly in the slowest possible way. Uh, but I probably will do another one-shot play this video eventually. Uh, at least before it goes away. I can't believe we're gonna lose to a team that's like three-fourths AFK, basically. That is wild to me. That is so crazy. I, I feel like three people were actually doing, uh, the work of, of the team. You know what this guy's probably trying to do, actually. I just fucking realized. He's probably trying to reverse boost right now. That's gotta be it, right? I wonder if reverse boosting works in fucking, uh, seasonal playlists. That makes so much more sense. Because he never... He didn't even try to melee. He just tried... He literally just ran at people. Damn, dude. That's fucking crazy if they're actually doing that. If you ever have to reverse boost for whatever reason, uh, man, just fucking play a different game. Like, it might be time to switch off God for, for, for all time. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, barring some toxicity, uh, that was a one-shot playlist. Uh, you know, still fun. Still good. I still like it. it. It's simple. It's easy. It's fucking nice. I love it. Uh, I hope it stays around. Uh, I hope it becomes as indefinite uh, as the 10v10 mosh pit. Like, if we could have this combo of three, with, like, maybe this being replaced with, like, a 24-7 playlist for one of the small maps, uh, like, every week, I think this would be the perfect combination of, like, fun modes to have at all time. And then, obviously, you can take these ones and, like, switch them around, you know? But, like, yeah, I, th I think this combination is, like, the perfect trio of fucking game modes for, for, for COD, for, for casual COD, I should say. Either way, though, that was a Modern 3 video. And, uh, this is Mitch Punk was from Heavy Moon Bounce. Setting out, I'll see you guys next time.